Hi everybody, welcome to Derek Does. Today, we're gonna do this. Hi, welcome back to another Derek Does. I'm Derek, and today we're gonna do this. This is a 1950s, early 1950s, M51 field coat or field jacket, however you wanna say it. Uh, I just found this. I found this a couple days ago. I had an M51 a long time ago, and, and uh, for some reason I got rid of it. And I just found another one. So I've already done field coat jacket uh, reviews, basically, for the uh, M43, uh, the uh, mountaineering M42, the um, M65, and uh, the woman's, uh, I, don't even, I don't even know if it even has an M number on it, but a Vietnam one of that one. Uh, but I have not done it on the M51. And I thought I'd show you, uh, this jacket is very, very similar to an M65 and an M43. If they had a baby, it'd be this. <laughs> um, so it has a lot of the features of the M43. It's an OG 107, but, um, or, or sorry, OD 107 but it has uh, the features of kind of of the M65 before it became the M65, because this is the first field jacket, besides that uh, 10th Mountain Division jacket I showed you, uh, the M42 version that did have a zipper. The M43s did not, the M50s did not. I don't have one of those to show you yet, but keep watching, because you never know. Uh, and this one has a zipper. This is a talon, and I'll show you all the close-ups of everything. It's an aluminum talon zipper. And instead of buttons on the front, it has snaps. And these snaps, if I remember when I looked, yeah, they're Scovell, Scovell snaps, um, uh, the hardware uh, for that. And then it has uh, a few features that are similar to the M43. It has the cuffs, button cuffs, like the M43 did, where the uh, M65 had the Velcro. Uh, it has a pointed collar, much like the M43. Uh, has no hood like the M65, but it does have a hood like the M43 that you can button into, and then also has spots inside to button a uh, liner. Now the liner's different on the M51. It's like a wool liner that came with it, but you can put an M65 liner in these. The, the Most of the buttons will line up, but there might be a few buttons that don't, but so you can put these in here. The M43s you can't, but the M51s you can. Um, it has the regular four pockets everywhere with snaps. Uh, and um, I'll show you around on this jacket. Yeah, again, if, if you're new to my channel, I do a lot of vintage reviews and just cool stuff that I'm into. Uh, uh, I love it uh, that all I have so many people watching this sort of thing. And if you're new to it, please subscribe and uh, feel free to comment because I will, I know a little bit about a lot of stuff, but I don't know everything about anything. So. Uh, I can at least give you a, a couple steps forward if, 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 you're, if you're less knowledgeable than me, but if you're more knowledgeable than me, put down that information because other people read those comments besides myself and they could probably learn something uh, through your knowledge. So let's take a close up look at this M51. So here's the M51. We're gonna do some close up. Uh, now you can't tell this, but uh, this jacket apparently spent a lot of time in a women's closet. Uh, because it, it's very floral smelling. Uh, I think it was next to other clothing that, you know, had kind of a perfumey smell. It's not bad. It's just, it just needs to sit outside in the sun for a couple days. Uh, but let's take a look. Uh, obviously, <laughs> you can't smell that, but I can. Uh, so here's the jacket. As I was saying, it has uh, the pointed collar, which is unique uh, to the earlier jackets. The M65 didn't have that anymore, really. Uh, and then it has buttons there that you can take this up. Uh, you can see you can button that if you want to. Uh, it has these are the inside buttons for uh, your liner. This one is actually a little different than ones I've seen online also because this hang tag is like this and all the other ones I've seen was just a long piece like a what's on it like an A2 uh, of a piece of fabric that went this way to hang. So I don't know if this was a particular manufacturer that made it this way or maybe this was a earlier model or a later model. I'm not sure. If you know, let me know. Uh, I love the zipper on this one. I love this brown contrasting with the olive drab. But as you can see, it's a really nice triple marked talon. 
there and then of course marked here on the back even olive drabish and then this is all aluminum and then there's the matching side on the side this jacket's in really really nice shape it really is considering this jacket is from probably 1951 52 in that range uh, there's no real major wear on it or tears or stains uh, I mean, it's not perfect, obviously, because, you know, it was used, but it's in really great shape. So you have, you know, just like all the... Now, of course, the earlier M65s didn't have these, uh, but uh, the M43s did, and everyone else did. Then the later M65s did. So this is the collar. As you can see, uh, you do have uh, a button there for... I'm not sure what that actual button is for because there's no buttons on this it's all snaps so it has a bit of a wind flap here and then a wind flap that goes over that goes over now if you notice the drawstrings on the m51 are on the outside whereas the m65 it's on the inside so you have a drawstring here that goes around but you also have a drawstring down here now the, someone had pulled the cord out but you can see that's where it would have gone in and down here the other end would have gone there so it did have a drawstring, and if you, if you want to, you could probably find one of these and thread it through. So you would have double drawstrings, which actually would be kind of nice, because this way you keep the wind out this way, but it would also keep it pretty tight around there. Um, so here you can see you have the uh, two choices for uh, your collar, tight or uh, either way. One other nice feature I noticed on the pockets, if I can get that open, they're lined with wool. The M65 isn't, and I don't remember if the M43 is or not. I'd have to pull it out to look. But you can see it has this nice, if I can get it, wool lining there. So it was actually made to put your hands in there. And then on the inside, you can see the drawstring actually uh, goes through both those sections. So you could put this on the inside if you wanted to, but the outside would give you a better, a better uh, tight fit there and here you can see it has uh, kind of the green buttons there and then that is your Scovel. Now on the back as you can see too here it's in really great shape it really is um, just that perfect amount of usedness you know you do have a little bit of wear here a little bit there but overall this is in really fantastic shape That's my cat, if you can hear that, coming to bring me something. Uh, and you can see the drawstrings were in use both times. Up here you can see on the collar, that's where your hood would button into on these right there and there. All right, let's do a review. And as you can see, this jacket fits me pretty well. I may, I think it's a medium. I'm pretty sure it's a medium. It may just be a medium regular. Uh, I think the sleeves may be a smidgen short for me. I think I prefer probably a medium long, at least in this. But I thought I'd show you what these jackets look like. This will be un, uh, unzipped. It's got a nice, it just fits. It, I, it reminds me so much of the M65. I really like this. I believe this is the jacket that uh, they, uh, uh, the guy from Jaws uh, on the boat, he wore this M51. And now zipped up. Now, of course, there's no drawstring really set up tightness, so it's still a little loose. Um, this is it zipped up. that good there we go it's a jacket I'd be happy to wear uh, I like these uh, wool pockets too because it actually does warm your hand a little bit as opposed to just the cotton that you would get on an M65 or even a M43 which I don't think was wool covered they added that um, it's a good looking jacket I think so I mean if you're not if you don't want the M65 because a lot of guys have the M65 do the M51 because I guarantee you're not going to see a lot of these out there, and it's just as cool. Uh, it's a great utility jacket. 
uh, it's a great work jacket, although I wouldn't really want to work in this just to, to ruin it. I'd probably get a reproduction. I know they make reproductions of these, but if you can find an original, get an original, uh, just because why wouldn't you want an original? So there you go, another field jacket review. <laughs> I've been doing a bunch of these field jacket reviews. I just, there's so many of them. Uh, so all I have to do now is find an M50, uh, and I think I've done them all. Because uh, we did the M41, we did the uh, M43, we did the M51, we did the M65, we did the 10th Mountain M42, and I guess we could do the paratrooper one, which really, it really wasn't a field jacket though, it was more of a sh shirt. Uh, but I probably could do one of those if I find one of those, which I, I doubt I'll find one of those. But um, this is the M51. Uh, again, the, there was no stamping in it that I saw and there was no tag. So either the tag was removed or the, I don't know. I didn't see an actual stamp or tag anywhere in the jacket to identify when it was made um, and the size. But I can just tell from wearing it, it's a medium. Um, and I know it's original US military because of the zippers and the Scavell uh, snaps and everything like that. A reproduction would never have that, uh, or even a civilian one would never have that. They would have had other stuff. It wouldn't be this. Uh, so uh, this is the jacket. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave them. Again, if you're a new subscriber, please subscribe. Uh, all my current subscribers, thank you so much. I'm gonna try to keep getting content out there for you, uh, stuff that's fun to watch and stuff you could probably learn about if, you don't, if you're not familiar with uh, all the different models. Uh, for some reason, I'm finding them all. So uh, I'll probably, I don't know if I'll keep this one or not. If I do, I'll throw it up on DerekDoes.com. Uh, and I've got a couple of jackets up there, like the Mackinaw is up there. Uh, a couple of the jackets I've already sold, uh, like the Irving sold and um, there's another, uh, oh, the, the mountaineering, the 10th Mountain uh, one just sold too. But I have another one that I may, I don't know if I'll keep that one or not, and I want one, might pop that one up also. So check it out, see what you like, uh, and I will see you on the next Dark Dust.